Is unbelief in God a sin? Yes, I believe it's a sin because you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Why you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments is that in the one of the Ten Commandments is that you can't worship a God other than God himself. So if you do not believe in sin or believe in God, for what your question is asking over there, then you are worshiping a false idol. Thus, that is a sin. Hey, Shelton, what, what, is, your, what is your background? Do you have any religious background? Well, my father and mother, they, were, uh, they raised me as a Christian. For me, I grew up as an agnostic a little bit. And right now, I don't know where I stand. You know, I, I appreciate your transparency. I really do. Uh, let me ask you this. In the times that you did go to church growing up, did you hear the gospel, Shelton? Yes, I have. Define the gospel for me. Good news, isn't it? That's a good start. That's what it means. What is the good news? The good news is that we are saved from sin from Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, this is the gospel I preached to you unless you believed in vain. And I'm going to give this to you. What did he say the gospel was? How did he define it right there in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4? Okay, 1 Corinthians uh, 3 and 4. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was risen on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Okay, so that is the gospel. And, and Shelton, despite the fact that you say you don't know where you're at, I really commend you for defining the gospel correctly. Because even Christians, Shelton, most of the time, they don't get it. They don't define it. And you nailed it. Yes. I mean, just because necessarily I don't feel it in my heart, I do study the Bible. I feel that I am intrigued in the Bible. Hmm. I do have a lot of people that influence me with Christian backgrounds, that push me towards Christian backgrounds. I push other people towards Christian backgrounds. I want to say I'm Christian, but... In my heart, I don't feel. Shelton, I just want to say, I get it. You say you're just not feeling it in your heart. Well, from a biblical perspective, that makes perfect sense because the Bible says God has to change your heart of stone to give you a heart of flesh, Ezekiel 36, 26. And just like Lydia in Acts 16, 14, where the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul, your heart has to be opened by the Lord to spiritually receive this message. You know, you have a head knowledge of the gospel. You've proven that here. But Shelton, many people are gonna miss heaven by 18 inches. That's the distance between your head and your heart. Jesus said in John 6, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, unless the Father enables them, verse 65. You know, Shelton, you're probably just not feeling it also because in order to place your trust to the gospel, as Jesus said in Mark 1.15, you have to repent and believe in the gospel. Repentance and belief are gifts that God gives people that he draws to himself. In 2 Timothy 2.25, it reads that God will grant repentance leading to a knowledge of the truth. And in Ephesians 2.8, for by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not of your own doing, it is the gift of God. I've listed these things at the bottom of the track that I gave you. So will you do me a favor, Sheldon? When you go home, will you pray that God will change your heart and grant you repentance and faith to believe in the gospel? And my friend, I'll be praying that for you as well. I do have a lot of people that influence me with Christian backgrounds.